Uh, honestly, the very first thing I go for after we practice is the pickle juice. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. That's old school. That's like yeah. high school sidelines. Yeah, I know. The pickle juice and then cut. they have cups of berries and then I'll throw some strawberries and mangoes in there. Some yeah. really solid stuff. What do, uh, I don't think Brad, Brad didn't seem to know too much about Palm Beach. Uh, for, you know, your teammates that are, that are going to be spending at least a little bit of time up there. Uh, mm. What is Palm Beach like? Uh, Paul Beach is a mixture of just about everything, I'd have to say. You know, you go west and you have the, uh, you have locks, which is, you know, mostly you know, a lot of horse country and then, you know, hunting and fishing out there in the creeks. And then you have the east side, which is all beaches and fishing in the ocean and, uh, you know, ocean shacks and million dollar houses. And then you have right in the middle, which is, you know, all working class middle-class citizens that work their butts off every single day and that's where a lot of the football talent comes from mm -hmm. you know all those, those schools in the center of, of Palm Beach County you know Wallington uh, Central Wallington um, has some good guys come out John I uh, Park Vista has a lot of guys that came out uh, you have some really high school talent and you go way west and you got Bell Glade and, and that tight knit community over there in the muck. Corn Elder so, for the next five minutes. You know, yeah, it's a it's a talent filled area. Does it and, mean anything to, to get up there and play? Uh, yeah, it means a lot. You know, definitely got a lot of people coming up or coming out to that game. You know, it's right down the street from my high school, so you know, I'm sure a lot of people will know about it. And there'll be there some former teachers and coaches, definitely. And uh, can't wait to get up there and see what uh, see the the fan base that shows up. I've seen you working pretty consistently as a left guard. You know, with the first unit, is that is there chemistry developing there with that with that first unit? Obviously, Nick's out. You know, but uh, are you starting to get that get that down a little bit? Uh, yeah, I mean, there wasn't really. You know, you have to think about it. there wasn't a super transition. Uh, you know, we've I've played left guard for nine games last year and started there, and sure. I had Trevor to my left the entire time. Yeah, I had Nick in there, but. You know, if you didn't notice during the game, sometimes they would come out and they put Gall in there, and Gall plays center. So we all have pretty good chemistry. Uh, Danny, of course, you know, is uh, our senior leader on the team. So you know, he's he's always been solid in there. And then you know, Tyree's the new addition, and he's working his butt off, and he's doing everything he possibly can to get better as a player, and on and off the field. He's spent a lot of time in the meeting room and trying to work on his technique. So he's doing pretty well. Uh, so the chemistry we have is going pretty well. Any, anybody on the second unit impressed? Last question, guys. Uh, yeah, I'd say Hayden Mahoney is getting a lot better. Uh, Tyler Gauthier has gotten a lot better, uh, you know, considering since fall. You know, they, right now he's playing center, and yeah. he, last year all he played was guard. So, you know, that's a pretty, that's a pretty big move, uh, especially for a kid that played tackle in high school. So, you know, he he's bumped around, he's made it to center, and he's he's doing really well there. So. He's doing well. Hayden Mahoney has stepped up a lot, too. Uh, another kid has been working on his technique, working hard every single day. I've been in the meeting room for two extra hours pretty much every single day after practice, getting extra phone work with him, trying to help him out with the playbook. Uh, today, the, Jahir Jones had a pretty decent day today. Right tackle. Yeah, he had a pretty decent day today. Uh, he's definitely getting better. Bar Mile has improved since the beginning. Um, you know, and everyone, everyone pretty much has just improved as we've gone on. Um, and there's nothing, again, it, it's all about chemistry. So it's the, the unit you're with and how cohesive you can be with those guys. And uh, I mean, honestly, right now, we could throw someone from the second group into the first group like we did on Tuesday. Gauthier was our center on Tuesday. And they were, we didn't miss a beat. So, you know, we, you know, just keep teaching the young ones what they need to do and make sure that we know what we need to do, and then we'll take care of stuff on the field. All right, Matty's got to go, man. All right, cool, man.